Good morning. I just woke up. It's about 9 o'clock. Orientation's at 9.30. And I went to bed super duper late. Uh, I had a hard time sleeping. But I also stayed up late to edit my day one video. So, I mean, that's on me. Uh, I got maybe six hours of sleep, maybe. But... I only have orientation from like 9.30 to 12.30, so I could come back and nap after, I could go to the store and get groceries, I'm just gonna have a chill day today, I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself. I love this weather, this is what I wanted, the London cold rainy weather. finished with orientation and I just got my ID card and I hate it so much <laughs> the exposure is so bad I look so red but they made me take off my beanie so sad life but now I am on my way back to my room and I'm thinking about going to get my oyster card so that I can travel because tomorrow we have a photo frenzy event and it's optional. I don't wanna go, but I know that if I don't go, I'm gonna regret it. So I'm gonna go 10 a.m. tomorrow, probably gonna have to talk to people, probably gonna have to travel with people. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> right now, I'm probably gonna get my Oyster card just up the street. I think it's like an eight minute walk. I feel safe walking that far. And then I'm thinking about going to the grocery store. I think it's called like ASDA, but it's a bus right away. So I'm not sure if I should go today or tomorrow because I do need food. I need to eat, a girl needs to eat. But I mean, I brought some couscous and like a couple little things. So I, I should probably go actually. There's pizza and a pop quiz event thing tonight, so at least I get fed again. <laughs> pizza! <laughs> but I'll keep you updated as I go along. I ended up going to a little shop on campus to get a couple food items. I'm not up for going grocery shopping today, so it'll at least get me by through the weekend. I'll be fed. I'm gonna go drop off my food and then get my oyster card, which is the transportation card that I need to get around. And then I'm probably gonna take a nap, honestly, because I'm tired. Hey yo, so after I grocery shopped, I went and laid down for a little bit thinking, oh, I'll take a quick nap. I overslept and I missed 45 minutes of dinner. So by the time I got there, there were like two pieces left. So it fed me, but I'm so hungry, <laughs> sadly. So. I might have to make one of the things that I bought, which isn't a big deal, it's fine. But, like, I hope I don't friend anyone on Facebook because then they'll see this video. But after I ate the pizza, I went outside to take a phone call and I heck a left. <laughs> so, I was just so uncomfortable and they already did like most of the pop quiz. All the pizza was gone, as I already said. So I was like, eh. I don't really want to be here. I don't have to be here. This is optional. So, I left. Oh well. Alright, well, I am back in my dorm, currently in the kitchen, because that's the only place with Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I'm salty. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm probably just going to clean up my room, because I have been a messy person since I got here. So, I will be cleaning organizing the food that I just got in my room and probably watching a movie or something probably editing this video to post it on social media for you guys so 
this is it. I may or may not vlog tomorrow. Honestly, I probably will because of the photo frenzy. There will be so much to see and I'd like to share it, but I wanna be really careful in using my phone out in public so it doesn't get stolen. So we will see how much I can share, but I would like to and I hope you all have a good night or a good morning wherever you are. So right after the stairway, when you get into the building, this is the main door. And then my room is literally right next to it. And there is a whole hallway leading to the bathroom, which is right here. And it has two toilets. Please excuse my pajamas. My mom asked me to show everyone around the bathroom and kitchen. So that's the bathroom. I only show you now because I know no one is here. <laughs> it's Friday night, so no one is just chilling inside. That's just me, the dork. So this is the kitchen. And there are like three fridge and freezers. And garbage is just like in the US. It's split up into these different categories. There's this phone in case you have to call any of the extensions on campus, like security. The table. Lots of cabinets that no one is using yet, actually. Uh, the sink. And I actually bought these for the floor. I don't know if anyone notices or thinks that they can use it, but they can. There's just no soap here and we have to do dishes. So, I mean, it was just logical. It was only like two bucks. And we have two stove tops. We have an oven that people are like, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but we have a little accommodations guide right here and it says how to use everything, what we may need while we're here, etc. cetera. Uh, it took me like five minutes to figure out this microwave, <laughs> but uh, it's not that hard to figure out. There's a toaster. I'm pretty hyped about this because I bought some coffee and a couple things of uh, green tea. So that's legit. And then there's this view of trash. <laughs> so uh, this is the walkway. That's basically that place we ate uh, dinner the first night. And then this is like the walkway that we walk to get to the entrance. So that's basically everything. Uh, this is my fridge, but uh, I have cranberry juice, tortellini, this, what is this? Chicken tikka samosa. I've never had it, but it said grab and go, and I might need something like that. Um, avocados, grapes, nectarines, eggs, some butter back here, and some cheese. There's these are mostly going to be snacks. I'm going to try to creatively combine them to make meals for myself. And there's this really cool milk that I bought. It says Cravendale filtered for freshness, stays fresh for seven days once opened. This is actually really good. I'm excited to drink it. I'm going to be using it for overnight oats. And uh, I got peanut butter and bananas for that too, hopefully. I can use them. I think I got brown sugar too. And I bought two pizzas just for funsies. And that's basically it for the kitchen. Uh, yeah. I may as well show you the other food that I bought uh, that doesn't need to be refrigerated. I will just be storing it in my room. So I'll just show you my whole desk and my setup and my kitchen gear. So I have my laptop set. We have to use ethernet cables because the Wi-Fi really sucks here. Uh, we can only really use the Wi-Fi in the kitchen and the kitchen is all the way on the other side of the hallway in my floor. So I really don't have good uh, access to Wi-Fi in my room. So the only real thing I can use to do anything in my room is my laptop. So as fun as that is, that's the situation. I was able to get a converter before I came, type G, so I'm capable of using all of my devices. And uh, these are the food items that I bought besides the fridge and freezer things. Uh, I already had the couscous, which I'm hecka hyped for, honestly, I haven't had it in a while. But I got bananas, uh, some green tea, olive oil for my couscous. 
a little bit of coffee just in case I ever need it like uh, to study or in the mornings when I just can't even uh, I got some oats I really wanted like plain oats and healthier ones but this is all they had uh, I got little mini muffins just because again if I'm ever in a rush in the mornings or hungry a little bit later at night I have food to eat and I got brown whole wheat bread. I think it's whole wheat. It may not be, it just might be brown, I don't know. But I also got peanut butter for my overnight oats and maybe like banana peanut butter sandwiches or something. And I also got light brown sugar for my oatmeal as kind of previously stated. So uh, hopefully these will get me by. I'm gonna like write down the things that I bought and brainstorm snacks and meals that I can make. Hopefully this will last me at least like four days, this in the fridge stuff. Uh, again, I will be eating quite minimally because, oh my gosh, I'm so poor guys, it really depresses me. But hey, I'm here, so I'm trying to be really positive. Uh, and then finally I have all my kitchen stuff and it's really cool because it came with my room So like I have all the little utensils that I need for cooking I have a big plate little plate and bowl. They call it a cereal bowl and that makes sense uh, I got a mug a little glass with my silverware a cutting board and You know pots and pans and things um, I do wish that I had a baking sheet like to put in the oven but I'll make do with this stuff. I don't need uh, a baking sheet necessarily. For my pizza, I could just put it right on the rack, but you know, I don't really know what else has been on the rack, so it's whatever, it's okay. But yeah, this is my desk. Uh, more than likely, I will be storing the dishes and food up here on my shelving. Uh, there's really not anywhere else I could store it besides this desk, and I don't know if I wanna store all this on the desk. I might, but I don't know. The rest of the room is a mess, so I'm not going to show you that, <laughs> but uh, that's about it for today. Uh, like I said, I only showed all of this stuff because my mom asked me to, <laughs> and uh, I figured other people would enjoy seeing it as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye. Hello everyone. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update about tomorrow. I was super, super, super nervous about the morning going on this photo frenzy and exploring London with a group of people. Uh, you know, the social anxiety has been super heightened in anticipation of tomorrow. And uh, I posted on the Facebook page of Roehampton where all of our members are. And I asked someone if I could join their group like as a post, just like anyone, please. <laughs> And uh, someone was nice enough to let me go with their group. So I'm a little less anxious now. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to tomorrow. But still having to talk to people is a little like, oh. But I think I'll be okay. I'll try to take you guys along for the ride tomorrow. Good night.